Hey, how y'all doing today? This is Josh from Keep It Techie, and today I want to do a quick video on the move command. And I also want to show you guys some examples of how to use the command. It's a very easy command. Uh, it's similar to copy, but um, what it does is it actually moves the file to that location, removing it from the current location that it is. And you can also use the move command in conjunction to rename uh, files like uh, rename the, the file or folder uh, using the move command. So I'll show you guys a few examples. Um, so let's get started. So I already have my VM up and running um, and I also had the terminal open and I got it zoomed in so you guys can see pretty good. Um, I've already uh, created some files and folders for the use of this video. So let's get into there. I a CD into my documents folder. I believe that's where I created everything. Documents and then let's go LS. Uh, just see, yes. And that's, I created one, as you can see, I created one folder and I created three files. Uh, and that's all I'm gonna need for this uh, demonstration. So uh, first thing I wanna do is show you how to rename files using the move command. So you basically type MV, that's the actual command and what you want to do is tell it what file you want to rename or move and then you give it to either the location or the actual new name of the file so i want to name this one test two so i'm gonna take test one and name it as test four i'm sorry so i'm gonna add another file in there well not actually add another file but rename that file so that's basically it since we're in the directory where we want it to be uh, so that's all we have to type and then press enter. And if we LS again, or list the directory, as you can see, test one has been turned into test four. So we basically rename the file. So let's, uh, let's actually rename it back. Cause I, I just want to rename it back. So let's go test four. And then we want to make it test one, uh, just another run of it and press enter. Bam. And with this, with the move command, you can actually use it from different directories, but you have to specify the full directory of what you want to do. So I I went up one directory back to my home directory by typing CD that took me to my home directory. So if I type move, I know that the file is in my documents folder. So I'm going to type documents and then test one and then what I want to rename it to is test four again. So uh, I know that I want to put it back in the documents folder. So I have to put the full path for it. So uh, documents, test one, and then test four. And this works if you're, you're moving something to a different directory. So if I wanted to move this to my documents folder. So let's find um, uh, test four again. I'm gonna delete out the destination. Uh, so test four. And then I'm, let's say I want to move this to my uh, downloads folder. Um, I want to move test four. Um, and since I don't want to rename it, I don't have to type it out, but I'm gonna type it out because I want to turn it back to test one. So, but if I want it to keep the same name, I just type in the directory. So I stop at the directory. I don't have to type in the actual file name. And I'll show you that as an example right now just by doing it. So let's press enter. Okay, so if we ls the downloads folder, uh, we will see that test four is there. Yep, so all we did was move the file. We didn't rename it. So um, let's actually run this command again. And then we're gonna run it from the downloads folder because that's where our, our test four is. So you press tab. And then I wanna move it back to the documents folder but I want to name it um, test back to test one. So let's press enter on that and press enter. And then ls the documents folder now. Um, and as you see, test one is there. And if you look at, um, if you look at the downloads folder, you'll see that that directory is empty again. See, there's nothing there. So it's been officially moved. So, um, and like I said, you could do the exact same thing with, with, uh, renaming 
the file and then also you can do multiple files so i want to show you guys that so that's why i created the test one test two test three so i show you guys how to move multiple files so um let's go let's see the well actually let's clear right fast and let's cd into my documents folder where everything is located it's ls so we can see what we're working with and what we want to do is move test one test two and test three into that folder that's called folder one so if we go move we can type them all out test one test two test three and then we want to move them all into folder one and uh, you want to make sure you keep the backslash on there uh, like there like that right there that way it knows to put it within that folder um, so and then you press enter at that point and if you ls the documents folder now all we'll see is folder one but if we ls the folder one uh, you'll see that the documents have been moved there so it's pretty cool and also I wanted to show you guys you could do the same thing with with folders so um, what I want to do is move the folder one uh, folder and I want to move that full folder and I always take the backslash off I don't think you need it there um, it's going to move the folder in the files regardless. As long as you have the folder name correct, you're good. And so I want to move this to my actual um, downloads folder. So what you want to do is you have to type out the, the full path to it. So uh, let's type home, Josh, uh, and then we want to go into the downloads folder. And you want to put the backslash on that. That way it knows to put the the um the folder one directory into the downloads folder so let's press the enter on there and we should be good so if we press ls um i'm sorry ls home josh downloads i'm sorry it's capital uh, downloads folder press enter as you can see folder one is there so and if we run the same command, but we put folder one on the end of it, uh, we'll see that all the files were copied as well. So it copied the directory and all the files that's in it. And it'll do that for no matter how deep the, the uh, directory structure goes for that one folder. It'll copy that whole folder or move that whole folder over to the new directory. And you can do the same thing as far as changing it. So just to show you guys that, we can go move um, and since we're in a documents folder um, you actually want to you actually want to go back out you can you can do it from this directory but you have to type the whole path out so just to make it simple on you guys so you can follow me just go CD downloads press enter LS that's the folder so we want to move that folder uh, folder one and we want to move it back to um, the home directory. Well, the uh, documents directory. So that's home, Josh, um, documents. And then we want to rename that folder to something else. So I'm going to name it to folder two, just to make it simple. Press enter. And then um, if we ls the downloads folder, you'll see that it's gone because it'll show something there if it was there. And then we can ls the the uh, documents folder, and we have to type the full path out to to, to see it. But um, and as you can see, folder two is there, it, so it renamed the folder for us and moved it over there. And if we you know look under there, you'll see the files are still there. I wanted to show you one more thing right fast before I get into our option. Um, but you can uh, copy folders by using a wild card. I mean copying files by using a wild card. So let's go CD. I'm sorry. CD. And then let's go CD. Um, let's go to the documents folder. And then actually I should have went to the folder. Folder two folder. So if we LS that you'll see that we have document. I mean the documents there. So actually let's clear 
to uh, clear out some of the clutter. But if you go move, um, test, star, and let's say we want to move it up one directory, that will get all the files um, that begin with test. So it won't touch any other files uh, that you have in that directory. So you can specify certain things. Let's say you want to only move MP3s from uh, that folder, that directory. So you can type star dot MP3 and it'll pull all the MP3s. So I'm just showing you that same concept by just using the test folders that we have. That's the only files I have. So uh, let's type uh, the directory we want to move it to. So home Josh. And then we want to move that into our documents folder and press enter. And it'll move all the tests, all the files that begin with tests um, to the documents folder. So up one directory. So if we go CD, actually, if we LS right here, you'll see that it's blank. It's empty. And if we CD dot dot, that'll take us up one directory, which is the documents directory. And if we LS uh, here, you'll see that the documents are there. So they moved all those documents um, using that wild card. So that's a good tip uh, in case you have a lot of files that you're trying to move and you know they all or let's say PDFs or you know music files mp3s or whatever then you can just uh, use a wild card and that will allow you to copy all those files or folder files over uh, to a different directory so one other thing I want to show you guys is the I option so I'm going to touch another file out there let's see test Actually, let's go um, folder two, and then I want to type this test one. So basically, when you're moving something, uh, you can use the I option. And what the I option does is it prompts you if it's going to overwrite some files. So let me, um, let's do that same type of command where we, the test uh, stores store or the wild court and then um actually let, let's see where i'm at okay yeah i'm in the right directory let's clear this out and let's go um move test store and what i want to do is move them to the uh and i forgot the i option so dash i and then i want to type test store and then I want to move them to the, I want to move all those files to the folder, to uh, folder or directory. And if I press enter by running the dash I, it will, um, it sees under folder two that there already is a test one there. So it's basically asking you if you want to override it. So if you use that, the, the uh, dash I, that will prompt you to make sure you're not overwriting something you don't want to. Um, so that's a good option to use. That's really the only option I've ever used. Um, and so you basically type uh, a Y or if you wanted to overwrite it, and it'll overwrite it. If you press in, it'll, it won't overwrite it. So that's just a good option I wanted to throw out there for you guys to, um, to use uh, while running this command. So lastly, I want to um, show you guys the man page for it. So if we go to man MV, as if it even has one. Yeah. So um, that's the man page. All you got to do is type that in. Um, and it was one other one other thing I want to show you guys the dash in up here. Uh, no clobber It basically do not overwrite an existing file. So you can use that option as well. Uh, like I said, the I is the interactive, it's the prompt, and the N is uh, basically do not overwrite any existing files. And But the only thing with the N, I believe it doesn't give you any output, um, so you have to use the uh, V option, I believe. And it'll, yeah, it'll prompt you there. If you So if you use the N option uh, along with the V option, it'll prompt you. Uh, and ask you what you want to do with it or it won't it'll it'll give some type of output it'll basically explain what it's doing and I'm, i apologize for that is it's not going to give you a, a prompt it will um 
basically explain that it's not overriding anything. So if you put that I, I mean the N in there as an option, it won't give you an output. But if you put the uh, V in there with it, it will give you an output. So just wanted to explain that. But yeah, that's the man page. It's got a couple other uh, options in here. Like I said, the I is the only one I've ever used. Um, I had no need for any of the other ones. So that is the move command. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, share, subscribe, and we'll keep the videos coming. Um, and of course, keep it techie.